Hey guys, so today I am back with my skincare routine video. This is the first time I've filmed in a while because I just got back from college, so I'm in my sister's room filming, but I've been at work constantly, so I've had the time to sit down and just film. But I got a lot of requests for a skincare video after my like minimal natural makeup little video tutorial I put on Instagram, so your response was really kind. Um, and I've got a lot of comments on there saying people have issues with acne so they could never do it. I know there's a huge range of like different acne prone skins. Um, some people's are more severe, but a lot of the times even my friends they are like, I don't want to go out with foundation, but like I'm looking at them, I'm like, you could just do dots of concealer and you'll look like fine. Even they look better with less makeup. Like I said on some other posts right after that, like it's only you stopping yourself and don't let that mindset get into like any other aspect of your life. Mostly half the stuff you are worried about is from your own thoughts and those are only thoughts. But I have dry skin and in the summer it's a little better but I've only started like a skincare routine like maybe a year ago. So the products I'm using now is just stuff I've um, discovered and grown to like over the year. Some things work, I'll show you some things that haven't worked as well. I'm nothing on right now, my skin's clean and it's the morning, but I'll show you what I use at night first and then what I'll use during the day and then some like extra little products. So at night when I take my makeup off and cleanse my face, I just change what I, the product that I use. Before I used to pick up any generic face wash and that would work fine. Recently I picked up the Cetaphil wash but this did not work for me. I got this because all my roommates were using it at the time, but they do have more acne prone skin. I noticed I was getting drier skin and more pimples. And then I picked up the cold cream cleanser. So I never knew how these worked because I thought it just like would be too heavy on the skin, but it says it's a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover. And this does work well as both. I would follow up with a regular facial cleanser, but now I just use this. Um, this takes my makeup off, I don't even have to use makeup remover anymore. And my acne has disappeared after using this, and I think it's because my skin was too dry, or like the Cetaphil was just too much for my skin. I had to run and get this for my shower because I forgot it. But once or twice a week I'll go in with the Let the Good Times Roll um, Face and Body Cleanser from Lush. It says it's a cleanser, but it is exfoliating and it's very fine. But you just grab a little of this, mix it in with some water, and scrub your face. That's the other thing, do not use like a super harsh exfoliator. I used to be one of those people that like that stay eyes apricot scrub. I like to like go in on my skin, but I completely changed after I found out like those can actually leave little cuts on your skin. And like that makes sense. It's such a harsh scrub and your skin's so delicate. And imagine just like putting that on your skin and leaving cuts on it. That could even leave like room for infection and more acne. But this one's a lot more gentle. It has a exfoliating maze in it. But when I did use Makeup Remover, this was the best one I liked. It's the just the up and up oil-free eye makeup remover. I've tried different ones, but I always went back to this one. Then right after I wash my face, I moisturize. I start with this Fagan Yaro Rose Hip and Argon Facial Serum. I picked this up because I've heard Rose Hip is good for anti-aging as well. And Argon is just really moisturizing. So I've used other serums, ones that are just like Argon Oil or like Vitamin C Oil. I'm not sure if depending on the brand it might be better, but this one does work well for me. At night, I'll put on four drops and during the day, I'll put on three drops. Also, I feel like this makes my skin super smooth and I'll put my makeup on and I feel like the makeup goes on a lot smoother too. A lot of people are worried about using oils, but I really recommend it because I've seen people with dry skin, oily skin, acne prone skin, you have used different kind of oils or oil serums and it's worked really well for them for like acne scars, getting rid of acne. Um, for me, my dry skin, but it gives you like a really nice glow to your face. At night, I'll go in with the Pond Cream. I haven't found like a go-to moisturizer, so I just picked up this little travel size one when I got the Pond Face Wash. But this one's just the um, Dark Spot Color Correcting Cream. It's just a nice follow-up to the oil. But in the morning, I'll use 
sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunscreen. It's SPF 70. I don't think you need to go that high. I think after 50 you're good. This is just really lightweight and UV rays are like the biggest factor for aging so whatever you can do to prevent it, I definitely recommend. So when I do get pop-ups, I highly recommend this Neutrogena All-in-One Acne Control Facial Treatment. Sometimes when I have like a pimple, this will like dry it up overnight. I've even given it to a friend that is acne prone and he had like a bigger cyst or like a deeper pimple. When I asked him how it was in the morning, he said it like reduced drastically. It's a salicylic acid acne treatment. That's really hard to say. Salicylic acid acne treatment. And um, yeah, just a dot of this on the pimple and I just leave it there overnight and it works like a miracle. But those are all the products I'm using right now for my skincare routine. For skincare for me, I feel like it's all preventative instead of treatment based. And I am lucky to have nice skin and I didn't know it was such a huge thing until you guys started pointing it out. But thank you guys for the response. And I'm sure my skincare routine will change within the next couple of months. And all the products I use are drugstore finds, so they're really accessible. So you don't have to use super expensive products. I know there's like the more expensive medicated ones that do help, but um, these work for me right now. So yeah, I hope you guys got something from this. If you have any more questions, of course, leave it in the comments below. I have a huge list of videos that I want to get done this summer. Hopefully, I'll get a free time soon again to make some of those. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. Bye!